Hey guys, this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com and Gratitude Education. Today I'm just gonna show you guys a quick little snippet of a dry haircut. Um, this is my salon guest, Rachel. Uh, she's been coming to me for a long time. And this is a haircut that's been growing out. So um, I ran into her the other day. She said she wanted to get um, her bangs trimmed, maybe a little bit of weight taken out. So basically I get her in here. What I'm gonna do is just slightly remove some weight. We're not gonna take length from it. Um, we just wanna take out the bulk. So what I'm gonna do is I'll turn her. We're gonna take this, separate the front and the back. We do the same thing. So high point of the head, down to the ear. And that forward. So you can see definitely not trying to work on all the hair at once. I think that's where you can really get lost when you're cutting hair dry is because you're trying to take too much on. Now, real simple, we're gonna work on her heavy side, which is the side she parts over to. Um, so she, that has the, the bulk of the density in it. And I'm gonna take a diagonal parting. I'm gonna hold that out in front. And I'm gonna hold it with a nice high elevation. Like that, if you need to zoom in on this. Okay, cool. So we'll get a, a nice high elevation. Basically what that'll do is remove as much weight as possible. And then what I'm gonna do is just go in with a teasing technique. I'm gonna determine the length first with my fingers, right around her nose, where I want it to start. And I'll hold that up, over directing it, just over the parting. And I'm gonna work through teasing the hair with the scissor, doing a half close with my scissor, and cutting out the bulk. What that's gonna do is give me a nice broken, kind of shattered line. You can see that really, really nice. Take another diagonal forward section. And I'm gonna bring that all together. So combing that new hair into the old, and using that again as my guide. So just so we don't get too thick of a fringe, Still holding that over the parting, but keeping that elevation high, that's really the key to this haircut here and this technique. So you can see, starting to push that weight, but it's collapsing right here, right around the cheekbone and the temple area, which is where a lot of guests complain about weight being too heavy. Same thing. Bring it over. Nice high elevation again. Slight twist with my fingers, really just pinching that hair. I like this technique because of the, the line that it gives. It's not, it's not a real harsh line and it doesn't build up any weight. Bring this over. Up over the face here. I don't have to grab up all the hair. You'll see I don't, I don't have everything in my hand now. Just making sure that I get it over the parting. And you can see a much lighter face frame in there. Now with the weak side, I'm just gonna over direct that again, just over the parting. And work with the teasing technique. But I'm not over directing that to the other side because really just wanna keep some of the weight in there. I don't wanna over direct it too far. So still a high elevation, just less over direction. Same thing, working in the temple, elevation is high. Last section here. So really preserving the length, which is the best part about this. Is the hair is still gonna be nice and long, so it just takes that weight off. Add these little pieces. The other thing about Rachel's haircut, you can see this, we zoomed out now. Okay, cool. So some of the things uh, about Rachel's haircut is when you look at her, her face, before with the hair, without these pieces in here, it makes her face look shorter. Um, and what this does is kind of stretches everything out. And if, so if the hair is all the way down here, it's just gonna, the separation between this is gonna shrink her face in. So wanted to add those pieces in there, just brings her face down into the haircut and allows, you know, um, it to kind of accent her facial features. In there. Now what we're gonna do is work into the back. So we'll take the clip out, both sides. And she's just got a lot of bulk in there. And I don't wanna, I don't wanna cut super short layers because, you know, she's not looking for anything too funky. So. 
Um, and I like the bulk of her hair. She can really curl it up and, and wear it nice. So we're just gonna do a nice high elevation. We're gonna work pie shape section and just go through real quick with that teasing technique and just remove some of the bulk in there. And this, I'm not over directing the hair at all. I'm just working um, each section right next to the other one. So there's no over direction straight out from the head. So as I cut it, it's not really important to me where I'm combing from because it's just straight out from the head. So just making sure you're consistent, work your way around the head, make sure that elevation is high. Half close of the scissor in there. The other key thing about this is this isn't really a, this is not a full haircut, this is just a maintenance part. So it's just taking out a little bit of the bulk. Get that guest in maybe four weeks after you cut her hair. And then in a few more weeks, she's gonna need to come back in. We're gonna do a, a full haircut on her. But this is just a good way to maintain it, get out some of that bulk, and keep her wearing her hair nice and long. Last one here, right behind the ear. Straight out from the head, high elevation. Take a little bit of spray. You can really see these layers kind of come to life in her hair here. Each one of these little pieces. Her side fringe in there. And then, if I want to define those pieces just a little bit more, what I'll do is take my scissor, We'll tilt her head to the side. And I'll just work my scissor in. And right around that cheekbone area, I can cut in these pieces. And I'll just define those pieces a little bit more. The same thing right here. Just gives those pieces a little bit of separation in there. All right, so that's how you kind of maintain cool little dry cutting technique. Work on that, uh, the teasing. I, I really love that technique. I use it quite a bit in the salon. It's just a real easy way to remove weight and add a little bit of fun to, the, to your haircut in the end result. So please check out more of our techniques on freesaloneducation.com and gratitudeeducation.com.